Well, this weekend, kids in Brainerd were treated to a day of fun. Our A.J. Feldman shows us how the YMCA encouraged children to stay active. Saturday was Healthy Kids Day as the YMCA in Brainerd had a free day of fun for kids throughout the community. We're doing it for the first time here at the YMCA. Um, we've got vendors, exhibitors from all over the community. We're doing uh, Ultimate Martial Arts is behind us right now. Party World invited uh, or brought a bouncy house for us. So we're just trying to get the community together so the kids can do um, find some different activities to keep healthy. <laughs> The event is held by the YMCA to encourage kids to stay active throughout the summer as mandatory gym classes and physical activity during the school year ends. It helps out with their school learning when they get back to school, keeps their brains ready, um, and if you can stay active, obviously you're going to just keep building, um, growing as a person, as a kid. The Brainerd Fire Department was there showing off their gear and truck to people outside. That's how we turn the sirens on. I'm pushing it in. A martial arts demonstration gave kids a unique opportunity. Breaking a board. Is that fun? Yeah. Have you ever done that before? No. And the bounce house was a hit for children of all ages. Did you go in the bouncy house? Yeah. Did you like the bouncy house? Yeah. One of the many groups tabling at the event was the Brainerd Splash Pad. The Brainerd Splash Pad is actually a project that is slated to be put into Gregory Park. It is a 50-foot circumference um, water feature, zero depth, about 2,000 square feet. Um, so essentially it holds, let's say, 75 to 80 kids. The organizing group has raised 75 of the $400,000 needed for the project and hopes to have it completed by next summer. Everybody wants one and everybody wants to know when. We've got a great community with a lot of great support. We just need to get the money in the door so we can make the, the splash pad a reality. Reporting in Brainerd, A.J. Feldman, Lakeland News. The event was one of hundreds throughout the country and one of ten in Minnesota. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.